Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hasham Ali Khan. So now I'm continuing the problems on computation of tax liability. Last video I have completed four problems. Now I'm starting the fifth, sixth and seventh, these three problems in this video. Already I told you how to compute the tax liability. One video I have completely explained you regarding the method of computing the tax liability. So if you have not watched that video, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject advanced aspect of income tax. Watch the video on computation of tax liability. Be acquainted, be thorough on all the provisions of Income Tax Act 1961 for the current assessment year 2021-22. Now I'm going to start the next problem, problem number five. But before that, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So take a printout and keep it ready. First of all, take a screenshot of the solution of problems 5th, 6th and 7th. Then I will explain each and every point in detail. Now I am going to start the next problem, problem number 5. See carefully. During the previous year 2021, the total income of an SSC whose age is 48 years is Rs. 15,30,495. Calculate the tax liability for the assessment year 21-22. First of all, the SSC age is 48 years, means non-senior citizen. The basic exemption limit is 2,50,000. That's it. It's very straightforward problem. So calculation of tax liability age 48 years. Total income is 15,30,495. First slab up to 2,50,000. Income is 2,50,000. Nil. No tax. The next slab goes from 2,50,000 1 rupee to 5 lakh. 2,50,000 1 to 5 lakh. The income comes to 2,50,000. On this 2,50,000, the tax rate is 5%. So 5% of 2,50,000, you'll get 12,500. The next slab goes from 5 lakh 1 rupee to 10 lakhs. From 5 lakh 1 to 10 lakhs, the income is 5 lakh. On this, 20% is the tax. So 20% of 5 lakh comes to 1 lakh. Now the balance of income. The balance of the income, the tax rate is 30%. How to find out the balance? Take the total income 15,30,495. From 15,30,495, subtract the first three slabs. Minus 250, minus 250, minus 5 lakh. The balancing figure is 5,30,495. This is the balance. On this balance, 30% is the tax, 159, 149. Take the total. 2,71,649. This is the tax on total income. On this tax, we add health and education cess 4%. So 4% of this 10,866. So tax liability comes to 2,82,515. But according to the provisions of Income Tax Act, the tax should be rounded off to the nearest 10 rupees. The last two digits, two digits you see. It is 15. When it is 15, make it 20. If it is 14, then you have to take a 10. 15 or more than 15, you have to take 20. If less than 15 is there, you take only 10. So round it off to the nearest 20. One point is that tax rebate under section 87A is not allowed because the total income is more than 5 lakh. It is more than 5 lakhs, so tax rebate is not allowed. Surcharge is not applicable because the total income is less than 50 lakh. If the total income is more than 50 lakhs, surcharge would be applied. Here, no surcharge. That's it. This is the end of problem number 5. Now, see the problem number 6. Total in income taxable on a flat rate. So far, we have applied slab rates. Different slabs we have. But now this sixth problem, we have a flat rate, single rate. 
what is that flat rate 15 percent flat rate basis on 8 crore 12 lakh 30,000 income is 8 crore 12 lakh 30,000 determine tax liability in the following situations four situations are given each situation we have to find out the tax liability so first of all I'm writing calculation of tax liability for the assessment year 21 22 total income is 8 crore 12 lakh 30,000 and the flat rate of tax is 15 percent now one by one case we'll consider the first case the first case if the SSC is a male person in is 42 years of age male person of 42 years 42 means non-senior non-senior for non-senior the basic exemption limit is 2 lakh 50 thousand so first of all what is the total income given 8 crore 12 lakh 30 thousand from this basic exemption will be deducted the so basic exemption 2 lakh 50 thousand deduct 8 crore 9 lakh 80 thousand taxable income on this taxable income tax is to be calculated at a flat rate of 15 percent so 15 percent of 8 crore 9 lakh 80 thousand 1 crore 21 lakh 47 thousand this is the tax to this tax we add surcharge because the income is more than 5 crore it is 8 crore 12 lakh 30 thousand surcharge already in the last video I have explained up to 50 lakh rupees of total income no surcharge from 50 lakh from 50 lakh rupees to less than 1 crore less than 1 crore it is 10% if it is more than 1 crore but less than 2 crore it is 15% if it is more than 2 crore but up to 5 crore it is 25% if the total income is more than 5 crore then surcharge is 37% surcharge will be 37% if the total income is more than 5 crore here income is more than 5 crore so surcharge 37 percent surcharge 37 percent 37 percent of this amount it comes to 44 lakh 94 390 add up 1 crore 66 lakh 41 thousand 390 to this you add as usual health and education says 4 percent of this amount 6 lakh 65 656 so tax liability will be 1 crore 73 lakh 7046 now you have to round off last two digits are 46 so make it 50 <coughs> make it 50 so 1 crore 730750 that's it this is the tax liability in the first case male person and age is 42 years second situation if the ssc is a female person age is 42 years same first a bit and b bit a, a situation and b situation is same the only thing here male person here female person income tax act says there is no difference between male ssc and female ssc both the tax provisions are same the tax rates are same for male ssc as well as female ssc so whatever tax liability we got in male ssc same tax liability will arise for female ssc because both are of a same age 42 years 42 years age is same it doesn't matter whether male or female so tax liability will be 1 crore 730750 that's it so two cases are completed now third case if the ssc is a female person age 62 years forget about male or female we are not concerned the age is 62 years 62 years means senior citizen and when senior citizen is there the basic exemption limit is 3 lakhs basic exemption limit 3 lakhs so female person age 62 years total income less basic exemption 3 lakh here it was 2 lakh 50 thousand non-senior here senior deduct 8 crore 9 lakh 30 thousand now 15 percent of 8 crore 9 lakh 30 thousand 1 crore 21 39 500 again as usual surcharge 37 percent if the total income exceeds 5 crore 37 percent is the surcharge so 37 percent of this amount you get 44 lakh 91 650. Take the total. Health and education says 4 percent of this amount 6 lakh 65 245. Tax liability will be 1 crore 72 lakh 96 thousand 360. This is the tax liability in the case 3. 
Now last and final case 4. If the SSC is a male person age 84 years, male, female, ignore, simply you see 84 years. 84 years means super senior citizen. For super senior citizen, the basic exemption limit is 5 lakh. Basic exemption limit is 5 lakh. So here male person age 84 years, total income less basic exemption 5 lakh. Deduct 5 lakh, 8 crore 7 lakh 30,000. Now 15% of 8 crore 7 lakh 30,000 we get this amount. Surcharge as usual 37%. 37% of this amount. <coughs> Health and education says 4% of this amount. So ultimate tax liability 1 crore 72 lakh 53,616. So last two digits 16. 16 means make it 20. The last two digits make it 20. So 1 crore 72 lakh 53,620 is the tax liability case 4. Finished. I have explained each and every point how to compute the tax liability. Next, one more problem we will see. Seventh one. Calculate tax liability and determine how much tax is deducted at source. Tax is deducted at source means tedious. In each of the following three situations, if income from other head is nil, if the associate does not have any other income, he is having only winning from lottery. Only one income he is having, winning from lottery. He don't have any other income. We suppose. In each case, how much is the TVS and how much is the tax liability? We have to find out. Three situations are given. Situation 1, 2 and 3. Right? So here calculation of tax liability is situation 1. So situation 1. The winning from lottery is 9,000 rupees. So situation 1, winning from lottery, 9,000. So according to the provisions of Income Tax Act, no TDS will be applied if the uh, casual income is below 10,000. If the casual income winning from lottery is below 10,000, no TDS will be applied. The complete 10,000 rupees will be paid to the winner. No TDS. But tax is there. No basic exemption. Remember, for casual income, no basic exemption will be applied. No basic exemption will be applied. So what is the tax rate for winning from lottery? 30% flat. So 30% of 9,000, it comes to 2,700. Finished. The tax liability of the SSC is 2,700. Next, situation 2. 9 lakh rupees. Winning from lottery is 9 lakh rupees. It is more than 10,000. So TDS will be applied. The TDS will be 30%. So TDS is equal to 30% of 9 lakh. 2 lakh 70,000 is the tax deducted at source. Now we calculate the tax liability. Tax 30% of 9 lakh comes to 2 lakh 70,000. Now health and education says surcharge is not there. Huh? If the winning is more than 50 lakh, then surcharge will arise. Here it is not 50 lakh, less than 50 lakh, no surcharge. Directly we take health and education says 4%, 4% 4 of 2,70,000, 10,800. So total tax is 2,80,400, out of which already TDS was deducted. How much TDS was deducted? 2,70,000, deduct 2,70,000, now the tax liability is 10,800. Now SSC has to pay the remaining tax 10,800. Case 2, situation 2 or. Now situation 3, last situation. The winning from lottery is 9 crore. It is 9 crore. So winning from lottery 9 crore. So first of all we calculate the TDS at the rate of 30%. So TDS 30% of 9 crore it comes to 2 crore 70 lakh. 2 crore 70 lakh is the TDS. Now we compute the tax liability. So 30% comes to 2 crore 70 lakh. To this we add surcharge. Because the income is more than 5 crore. So surcharge will be at the rate of 37%. If the income of a person is more than 5 crore. Then surcharge will be 37%. So here it is 9 crore, more than 5 crore. So 37% of 2 crore 70 lakh, it comes to 99 lakh 90,000. That is a surcharge. To this add health and education says 4%. 4% of 
तो फोर परसेंट ऑफ दिस अमाउंट वन करोड़ फोर्टी सेवन फोर्टीन लाख सेवेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड टेक द टोटल टोटल कम्स तू थ्री करोड़ एटी फोर लाख सिक्सटी नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड फ्रॉम दिस वी डिडक्ट द टीडीएस हाउ मच टीडीएस वाज ऑलरेडी देर टू करोड़ सेवेंटी लाख तो डिडक्ट टीडीएस टू करोड़ सेवेंटी लाख रिमेनिंग बैलेंस टैक्स ड्यू इज वन करोड़ फोर्टीन लाख सिक्सटी नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस इज द टैक्स ड्यू अल्टीमेटली एस एस सी हैज � so in this video three problems i have completed fifth sixth and seventh inshallah the next problem will start in the next video but before that i want to inform please subscribe my second channel channel number two by name hans accounting institute that is the name of the channel visit the channel watch the video enhance your knowledge and give a like and also subscribe this channel is mainly made for IGCSE students, those who are uh, I mean, uh, doing the courses of uh, Cambridge, pursuing Cambridge or Excel. Okay, inshallah, next video will continue the next problem on computation of tax liability.